Fueling, the most essential part when it comes to orbital journey. Now, the big question is on fuel. For rocket launches, companies such as SpaceX employ liquid oxygen, LOX, as a propellant. LOX shortages induced by the COVID-19 pandemic may now have an influence on launches. Today, we are talking about the recent liquid oxygen shortage which SpaceX faced. Before we proceed, a big hello to everyone across the globe. If you are new to our channel, we warmly welcome you and we are glad to have you on board. Make sure to check our other videos from SpaceX updates and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated from the very latest. Let's talk about fuel. SpaceX utilizes liquid engines, which use liquid propellant to generate thrust in their kerosene-powered Merlin engines. It is the key to getting SpaceX rockets off the ground. The substance, combined with cryogenic liquid methane, fuels SpaceX's Raptor engines, which provide the thrust required for liftoff. In the combustion chamber, rocket fuel is mixed with an oxidizer, where they chemically react and create new molecules, including a gas. The massive amount of gas created, or exhaust, can only leave through a nozzle placed in the rocket's tail end. The rocket is subjected to an equal and opposite force as a result of the exhaust flying out. As we push through the second year of the pandemic, hospitals treating patients rely on LOX for ventilator treatments, and with the number of patients increasing, LOX is becoming scarce. However, as SpaceX President and COO Gwyn Shotwell noted during the 36th Annual Space Symposium here on Tuesday, August 24th, this shortfall might have an impact on upcoming launches because many launch providers rely on LOX, a commonly used propellant. We're going to be impacted this year by a scarcity of liquid oxygen for launch, Shotwell added. We will surely make certain that hospitals have the liquid oxygen that we require. Shotwell stated. However, if someone has extra liquid oxygen, please shoot me an email. Supercooled liquid methane and LOX are used as propellants in SpaceX's next generation Raptor engine, which will power the company's massive new Starship deep space transportation system. Previous engines from the business, Merlin and Kestrel, also utilized LOX, but with refined kerosene rather than methane. The reaction of propellants in a rocket engine produces heat and exhaust gases, which are accelerated via a nozzle, producing thrust that pushes against Earth and propels the rocket into space. Shotwell did not elaborate on the effects of the LOX shortage on SpaceX's next launch schedule. Since its previous Starlink launch on June 30th, the corporation has already placed Starlink broadband satellite launches on hold. The corporation delayed launches in order to upgrade its satellites using laser technology. During the same panel, Shotwell mentioned that the next Starlink launch will be in about three weeks. Aside from the actual supply of oxygen, the gas shortfall is being worsened by significant shipping delays. Tori Bruno, CEO of ULA, stated on Twitter that a contractor in charge of nitrogen shipment to Vandenberg Space Force Base in California was redirected to assist with LOX delivery in Florida. The USG contractor responsible for transporting liquid GN2 Vandenberg Air Force Base. ULA isn't the only launch business that could be harmed by the LOX scarcity. We're actually going to be hampered this year by a paucity of liquid oxygen for launch, SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell revealed last week during a panel discussion at the Space Symposium. We will surely ensure that the hospitals have the oxygen they require. But if anyone has liquid oxygen to spare, please drop me an email. Elon Musk, SpaceX's founder and CEO, was more measured on Twitter a few days ago noting that the LOX scarcity is a danger but not yet a limiting factor. Orlando, Florida officials issued a separate alert shortly before NASA announced the launch delay, encouraging citizens to conserve water because LOX is used to clean the city's water supply. Nationally, the demand for liquid oxygen is extraordinarily high because the priority for its use is to save lives, Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer stated on Facebook. If we do not promptly lower the amount of water we need to treat, there may be consequences for our water quality. While oxygen is abundant in the atmosphere, hospitals require high amounts of it to treat patients with damaged respiratory systems. 
In the United States, transporting highly concentrated oxygen is typically accomplished by freezing the gas into a liquid, which is less bulky but can provide its own set of challenges. Earlier this year, there were shortages in Los Angeles hospitals due to freezing of machinery used to convert the liquid back into a gas, that the increased demand is producing issues outside of the medical business. When we talk about the email part, Gwyn Shotwell further stated, according to a video published on YouTube by Expo Vista TV, we're truly going to be hampered this year by the unavailability of liquid oxygen for launch. We will absolutely ensure that hospitals have the liquid oxygen they require. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, tweeted on Monday that the business has dispatched 100,000 user Starlink terminals, which are included in the user kit and connect to the company's satellites in orbit. Meanwhile, in Florida, some homeowners have noticed, and in some cases smelled, signs of a liquid oxygen shortage in their water supply. Ozone is produced by water utilities using liquid oxygen. When ozone is used to disinfect water, it can kill hazardous bacteria and viruses, as well as break down chemicals that cause water to taste or smell bad. Although chlorine and other chemicals can do the same function, oxygen produces less byproducts. The utility often uses oxygen to remove hydrogen sulfide from its water, a gas that smells like rotten eggs. When switching to bleach, the utility advised that consumers who are sensitive to taste and odor changes in drinking water may perceive a little difference during this period, even though the quality and safety of the water will not be affected. This is an emergency in both sectors. We hope that the pandemic gets over as soon as possible, as it has already caused major influences on many sectors, including people's life, which is heart-wrenching, to be honest. I hope the upcoming time will be full of blessings. With all this, we have come to the end of our video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We would be glad to know your feedback. Also, we appreciate your love and support for our channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time. See ya.